promo code for 10% off your order, which is TRS1. Very good, Daniel. Very good. Let's get to our email, shall we? We shall. Hey, guys. I love the show, and I've been watching for a good few months now. I'm taking my first driving lessons this month. Wow. And I'm very nervous as my previous attempts at controlling a vehicle have ended badly. I took the Legoland driving test when I was younger and ran over the instructor's foot. Uh oh. I flipped a quad <laughs> bike at the age of 11. Awesome, right? Uh, and I crashed and broke a go kart two years ago at a friend's birthday party. So I'm pretty damn scared that either me, my instructor, or anybody else within my, a mile radius of the car is going to get hurt. My question. It's not a good track record. It's not a good track record at all. <laughs> at, or on a track. Uh, my question is to you guys. What were your first driving experiences like? Keep up the radness, Mike in London. I know what Dan's first driving experience was like. Remember when you took your test and the, the instructor put that very full cup of <laughs> hot coffee and he said, just don't get me burned and you'll pass. And he said, you're lucky. The cup was <laughs> empty. <laughs> um, no, I actually, I mean, uh, uh, parallel parking was pretty tough, but luckily, lucky for me, my uh, my big wheel pretty much fit into any space I would want it to get into. Ba -ba -ba um, <laughs> hey, Alanis. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Alistair. Um, so, uh, my first experience parking, I just remember. I'm not parking, just driving. I mean, driving, I'm sorry. Um, I remember, I remember uh, my friend Avi said the same thing. When we first took our, got in the car, my parents didn't want to like teach me. They wouldn't associate bad experiences with them. So they hired like a teacher guy. Um, <laughs> You know, the guy who like had a wheel himself and pedals. Oh yeah, uh, you went to yeah, the driving, driving school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, isn't that you had to take it behind by the law? Wheel. Oh, yeah, is it by behind the wheel? Yeah. I mean, it, we're, I'm just talking about California. I don't even know. If I don't know if it was I don't think it was a state. law thing. But I remember the first time I put my foot on the on the gas, it was I always thought driving was like like in a in a car and road rash. First, right? Like you <laughs> road put rash. Foot, you put your foot down on the gas and when you take it off, it stops. Put your foot down, but when you put your foot down, you'll take your foot up, and the car will still go like a little. You know what I mean? Like that was such an. Odd, it's so. It's so like. It's, of course now, but like that first instance was such an odd sensation of driving. I was. I didn't drive for a very long time. I didn't get my license until I was like seventeen or eighteen. Kind of shows, doesn't I could have gotten it when I was sixteen. <laughs> I was so I, I hated the idea of the response the responsibility of like mm -hmm. oh man mine and other lives. Go ahead. Well, I was gonna say I had the exact opposite experience. I was like I want to drive and I, I want to go to have predicted that. I want to I want to drive. I want to drive now, man. <laughs> I love missing behind the wheels. I watched Dukes of Hazard. I was like I want to get into the car. Why they didn't buy me a General Lee when I turned sixteen? I don't know. I got a Ford Escort wagon. Racist. <laughs> no, General Lee. Like the freaking come on. I had no idea that meant bad things sometimes. <laughs> Good try, Jeff. Good try. It's, it's close. It's close. I'm apprenticing under my Dan. My first experience. I'm apprenticing under Dan. <laughs> my new shirt. Uh, <laughs> under Nads. <laughs> under Nads. So my first experience was actually pretty cool. I, um, you know, when I turned like 15, and I had, but I hadn't turned enough to get my my learner's permit. Yeah. I remember my dad used to drive. Um, this old, like, 1980 uh, Mercedes. Mm -hmm. And it was, like, old. It was not even an 80. It may have even been, like, a 75. It was, like, old Mercedes. And I remember this day, we, he called us on the phone. He was like, I bought, I bought a Mercedes. I bought this car. And we were like, that's so cool. What color is it? And he was like, it's green. And we were like, awesome. He showed up in a fucking brown car. I don't care what anybody says, it was brown. And I go, what difference why did you, make? because for the longest time we were like, why did you say that it was green? And he's like, that's green. That is a green car. Is this a, is this a story about colorblindness? Well, yeah, I guess it is. Now that I think about it, I was like, maybe my dad's colorblind. It's a sad moment. So anyway, when I, before I got my learner's permit, my dad was going, I was going with my dad to go um, get his dry cleaning, which was like down around the corner through our Sadly, our all brown also. Yeah, I know. And he goes, <laughs> it was horrible. And he says, he goes, well, do you want to drive? And I had, it was like, hadn't had my learner's permit, and I was like, all right. And that was how I learned how to drive. It was awesome. Bonk, it was awesome. Dude, and bad. then I opened the door and pushed him out. <laughs> I went to Vegas. <laughs> None of that happened. Well, I learned, uh, I learned all on standard transmission. Wow. So yeah, I did. So, and, and then um, when I took my, when I seen the show. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I did too. Then I forgot it. Then I became a man. Because I think all my family had at that time were standard transmission cars, and uh, and then I borrowed my grandmother's um, automatic automatic for the test, 
so that it was like, it seemed so much easier yeah. because I had so much less to worry about. But I remember right after, very close to after I was, uh, I'd got my license, uh, I was sort of smitten with this, uh, this girl who was Joy older. Joy Eisenhart? No. I'm not that guy, Dan. I would never take her from you. I would never take her from you. Um, she was older, and I was, I was so, like, infatuated with her. And uh, she wanted to go. I grew up, you know, in the Bay Area, and she wanted to go into the city, San Francisco. Uh, and if anybody has been to San Francisco, you know there are hills like this. And uh, I and drove stick shift car. in a that standard transmission good. right after getting my license. Yeah. I was shitting bricks, but I didn't want to show her that I was shitting the bricks. bricks because, shitting. Yeah, because she's been driving for, like, she'd been driving for, like, four years, five years. She was older than me. I mentioned that. Um, and so it, we would be like on a stop sign like this, and I knew that I was gonna have to take it out of neutral and pop and take my foot off the clutch and and not and there was a car behind me, so if I rolled backwards, I was gonna hit the car behind me. I was so nervous. Terrified and but couldn't show it and would like Oh, it was it was one of the most harrowing I'm experiences. Right I know. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. why he sweats when he does stick. <laughs> he sees a stick shift car and he goes. Wow. <laughs> oh, I see no. Lombard Street and stick shift cars, and I'm a mess. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> well, thank you very much, Mike. Hopefully that uh, answered your question. If you'd like to send us an email, please feel free to do so. Fans at totallyradshow dot com. That's also where you would send us a background. Those. Awesome backgrounds that we get every week. Yeah, yeah. Fans at totallyradshow.com. If you want to make your own background, you can get our logo from the totallyradshow.com website. Uh, and you can also download this background, the one that is currently behind us. <laughs> this this one. Uh, am I clear which one we're talking about? Yes. You are. Totallyradshow.com. Join our forums. Sign up. Participate. Talk about this episode. Talk about ways in which to indicate the background behind people. <laughs> Very interesting topics. It's amazing. Lots of them. So many things going on there. Talk about... How you registered to vote? I've been bringing that up every episode. That'll be a really fascinating discussion. Conversation. Yeah. I, I filled out a library. form. It's really simple, yeah. and I guarantee you, it'll feel awesome when you vote on November fourth if you're in America. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're in Canada, there's also a there's also an election happening. I'm not. We've been up, told. up on the specifics. We've been told. Um, but yeah, so do that. It'll be it'll be awesome. You're gonna love it. Also on the website is the movie we're gonna review at a time. So. If you want to be in on our discussion, head over to the website. Find that out. Awesome. Also, if you dig on the shirts, which Whoa, we do. Whoa, look at this one. Jinx.com slash TRS. And follow us up on Twitter, twitter.com slash Alex Albrecht. Like the background. Slash Jeff Kanata. Slash Danny TRS. <laughs> slash Steve TRS. Well, that is it for this week's edition of The Totally Rad Show. You can catch us here every Tuesday at noon Pacific time. We will see you next week. Strawbrecht. Why are you laughing? How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of the Tootsie Pop? I can't. It's so hard to say. <laughs> I've never made it without biting. Fuck. I've never made it without biting. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center? How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of the Tootsie Pop? I've never. What? <laughs> Mr. Albrecht, how many licks does it take? Just go back, go back, it's almost there. What's my line? Mr. Albrecht. <laughs> yes, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs>